samples are collected for a number of reasons. Regular sampling helps determine dosages required for the treatment process, ensures that the finished water meets federal standards for contaminants, and tracks water quality through the distribution system. We do a lot of regulatory sampling. Uh, this here is the back tea samples that are run daily uh, for the microbiology uh, regulatory compliance work. We also do a variety of uh, influent and effluent sampling at the treatment plants. Samples must be tested by a certified lab. This lab may be part of your utility, or you might send samples to an outside lab. The lab will provide sample containers. It is important to use only containers provided by the lab because they have been properly sterilized and in some cases treated with a stabilizing or dechlorination agent. Sample containers come in all sizes and can be either glass or plastic depending on what tests will be performed. The most important step in monitoring is the first one, selecting the right sample locations. Most sample locations have already been selected but you should be aware of why certain locations are used. Sample sites need to provide an accurate picture of water quality in the system as a whole, as well as monitor weak spots where problems are likely to occur. The plant effluent sites towards the middle of the distribution stream and points at the farthest ends of the distribution system are included in the sampling plan. Other trouble spots may be selected for proactive reasons. For a sample to be accurate, it must be free from outside contamination. Some sample locations are more likely to contaminate a sample than others, and they should be avoided if possible. This is especially important for microbiological samples.